Okay, this video is about how do I put a loco into Dakota Pro's JMRI roster using a DR5000. Here's my DR5000 Digi Central, magnificent piece of equipment. Over in the back corner there is the programming track with the wires coming out. Here's my programming track, and here's 6072 locomotive sitting on the programming track. So the first thing you need to do is make sure that you are connected to the DR5000, which I am. The flashing blue light is the Wi-Fi on the DR5000, and I'm connected to the computer via the Wi-Fi. I open up Dakota Pro. <clears throat> Dakota Pro is opened up and here is the on off button to turn the power onto the track. And the track's gone live, you might have heard it. There you go, we're punching 15.8, 15.9 15 volts and we're driving 0.5 of an amp. Now, here is the programming track, and it's alive as well. It's 15.6. <coughs> so, 6072. 6072 is not in my roster, so I hit new locomotive. I go down to read from Dakota. You want to hear the click. And you can hear the loco clicking away. And it's done. So I want to know what the long address is. Long address is 6072. Excellent. Now I need to give my new loco a roster ID. So I'm going to put BNSFBHP Billiton. And I'm going to save. And you would have saw it go straight into the roster. So there it is. BHP Billiton 6072. It's got a lock sound V4 in it. I thought it was a 5. And that's the date and the time that it went in. So there you go kiddies. I asked a question the other day and the question was how do I build a roster in JMRI using the DR5000? And I got back some strange uh, answer. I think probably because I may have asked the wrong question. And the question is, how do I build a roster using JMRI hooked up to a DR5000? And there's the answer. Via the DR5000's programming track, wirelessly to JMRI and my computer. Okay, thanks for watching.